ஹலோ எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் டு பீப்புள்ஸ் ஆஃப் சேனல் வேர் வி சிம்பிள்ஃபை பீப்புள்ஸ் ஆஃப் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் இன் எவ்ரி டே லாங்குவேஜ் மை நேம் இஸ் சிவா கோயா அண்ட் டுடே ஐ வில் ஷேர் வித் யூ ஃபைவ் பீப்புள் டூல்ஸ் டிப்ஸ் தட் யூ கேன் லெவரேஜ் டு இம்ப்ரூவ் யுவர் ப்ராடக்டிவிட்டி ஹேர் இஸ் மை டிப் நம்பர் ஒன் in your project you might have several objects inserted as shown here on my project upgrade tab sometimes you might need to get rid of some of these objects at first glance the only option available to us is right click on each object and select the option remove from project even if you want to select all objects at once unfortunately even control a doesn't work here are couple of options available to you option number 1 select any one item using mouse cursor then drag the mouse cursor down to select multiple rows right click and remove from project the second way to do the same thing is you can select any one of the items hold shift key and press the down arrow to select multiple items right click and remove from project that's it guys these are the two ways to delete multiple objects from your project tip number 2 most of you probably know this already without logging into app designer we can find out underlying record field names of different page controls that we see on our people soft online pages for example uh, here i have customer general information page if i want to know the underlying record name behind this name and field without logging into app designer all i need to do is click on this chrome menu more tools developer tools i will click on select element and place the cursor on the page field for which we want to know the underlying record field name as you can see here the record name and field name are separated by underscore the record name is customer and the field name is name too likewise we can apply the same concept to figure out prompt tables if i want to know the underlying prompt table of this uh, rate type all i need to do is i need to click on the prompt button and now i will again select the select element and if i click here as you can see here the prompt table is rt underscore type underscore tbl this tip definitely comes handy for you if you don't have access to app designer my next tip is more of an issue i faced recently As you can see here my integration broker messages are stuck in new status so i started troubleshooting firstly i ensured i can ping my local node successfully looks good next i ensured my queue is in run status lastly i restarted my pub sub servers still no luck can anyone take a guess after a painful half an hour of research i came to know it's because my integration broker message dispatchers are in inactive status in order to fix this issue i will navigate to people tools integration broker integration network work center i will navigate to domain status as you can see here my dispatchers are in inactive status dispatchers are nothing but programs running on ib that would process the messages to the handlers let's go ahead and make them active in order to make them active all i need to do is change the status to active and i'll go ahead and click on update button now let's see if my messages are processed as you can see all my messages are processed now Here comes another interesting tip. PeopleSoft out of the box delivered some useful queries related to user and object security. It definitely comes handy for you when you are doing security troubleshooting. For example, if you want to know if this particular user got access to a particular page or not or you are interested to know who all users fall under this particular role and many more such requests. Let me direct you to that page in order to find that page you have to navigate to people tools security review security information if you are on earlier versions of people soft 
the label used to be common queries. Let me click on it. As you can see, there are several categories of queries. Let's explore a couple of queries. Let me select user ID queries. If I want to know an user got access to a particular page, I can click on user IDs page access. Let me select a random user and I will search the results. To display all the pages that user got access to, I can click on view all. Let's find out if our user got access to query manager. First step is to know the name of the query manager page. We can find that out by pressing Ctrl Shift J all at once. Let's see if our user got access to this page. Let me do a search using this page name in our query search results. As you can see, our user got access to query manager page. Let's try one more query. This time, let's see if our user got access to app designer. After selecting the query, paste our username here and view search results. As you can see, our user got access to app designer and other people tools listed here. Likewise, there are several useful queries. For example, you can use access log queries. Using this query, we can track how many times any particular user logged in and logged out of our PeopleSoft system using user ID. You can even check out who all users logged in and logged out of our PeopleSoft system for a particular date range using this query. That's it guys, check out this helpful tool provided by PeopleSoft. Here is my last tip. We all know Oracle is upgrading its tool set to add value to our PeopleSoft customers. Aren't you interested to know what all capabilities Oracle added in every tools and application release? Fortunately, Oracle provided a tool for us to inform about the new capabilities they added in every release. The tool is known as PeopleSoft Cumulative Feature Overview. Let's check it out. To access the tool, all you need to do is type PeopleSoft Cumulative Feature Overview and click on the first link. And then click on Generate a CFO Report. For this demo, I will focus on Tools features. In order to do that, I will select PeopleSoft People Tools and I want to know what capabilities they added for App Engine. I will select App Engine and push it to the Selected Products section. I want to see what capabilities they added in People Tools 8.58 when compared to 8.57. So I will select my current release as 8.57. I will go ahead and select what's in 8.58. I'll click on generate report. As you can see here, in people tools 8.58, Oracle provided a tool called application engine action plugin to alter SQL or people code action without touching the delivered application program. This is one of the tools we can leverage to eliminate customizations. I hope now you got some idea how this cumulative feature over your tool works, you can take it from here. That's it for today guys. If you like my content, don't forget to encourage me by hitting that like button below. For more interesting content, check out my PeopleSoft channel. Have a great day.